and welcome back to Mr. Mike. In today's video, we're going to see St. Paul's Catacombs. And uh, yeah, this is the place. It's a very big catacomb. And uh, yeah, just across the street where we're at is uh, Santa Agata, but we're not gonna see that in this video. It is actually a grave. But yeah, underneath all this glass, there are the catacombs. It's actually a real skull and real bones. It was a baby. It was a baby. These are glass bottles, which they found in the tombs. And uh, they sometimes even found jewelry in there as well. There's a video which you can watch about these catacombs. Now, we're going into the catacombs. Just look how, how big this place is. <laughs> Look how big this place is. See that glare on the walls? That's because it's very humid. It's wet, almost. Carved out, but with a few itty bitty chisels. And uh, yeah, uh, like that. It's a table where they used to eat in the past when they uh, built here. It's like a big maze. There's one way there, one way there, one way behind, one way here. There's everywhere. A uh, section, even on top of another section. Yeah, there's just so much. And you can even see roots of some trees up there. This place is probably a tomb, which they uh, still didn't dig. If they dig out all of this um, thing, then they'll uh, probably find uh, a skeleton in here. Here, um, there's even more uh, catacombs underneath. I think we're already around 20 meters down, but here, I think we'll increase it to 25 or something. This curvature above this tomb, um, yeah, that uh, probably indicates that this was a very special to uh, tomb because uh, it's for a very special uh, p uh, person. Usually it's for a husband and a wife, these two. There's the ceiling for another tomb. But, in this one, you can actually see underneath the ceiling and, yeah. See the holes over there? That's where yeah. they used to put the, the vases and the perfumes and oils, special oils. Hmm. So much in these catacombs that if I made a full video about them, like a very uh, long one about everything in here. Well, uh, yeah, you would see like uh, a three hour video. More catacombs up here. They said really echoes, like uh, I'm gonna say a word which you have to do. And uh, yeah, let's see if it echoes. Subscribe and like. This is probably supporting a house. Yeah, they built right above us. Those little drops are water. They look like tiny stars in the atmosphere. And uh, yeah, up here there's a giant gaping hole. Yay! Even more tombs. And uh, yep, more catacombs. Is the main room. Another entrance to yet another part. Hmm. What is this? I don't know. Ah, you don't? I'm not sure. I thought you would know. I mean, the Egyptians were never here. It looks like hieroglyphs. Hmm. What does hieroglyphs mean? Pictures or words? And, uh, which are words. Look, it goes down there and it goes down there. It goes, it goes all forever, right? the way. Yeah, our father is a relatively short man. I would and, uh, say compact, not short. Compact. <laughs> and uh, yeah, look how he needs to stand in here. I can almost touch the. Uh, I can almost hit my head if I jump. It's a whole complex which is cut off because, uh, yeah, it's too big. Because, uh, yeah, people will get lost if they uh, can uh, come in here. Another pathway here. And uh, another pathway there, which connects to the other one, 
there's another, another pathway there. Everywhere there's a path. Catacombs, which were blocked off, probably lead to, uh, yep, across the street to another catacombs, another uh, complex of catacombs, which is Santa Agata. Just 16 more minutes to see here, so uh, yeah, we'd better make it fast. Catacombs! Yeah, it's literally the entire island is catacombs. And uh, yep, it's blocked off again. More, more everywhere there is. Drill, more catacombs is what it looks like without any light. But jump all, yeah, this is, uh, is how it looks like with. Goes down even deeper, but why are they blocked off? Hey, uh, do you remember when I did my uh, other catacomb video? Yeah, that was like two minutes. Yeah, this I think is longer to say the least. And uh, look, you can see all of the drops on this plastic. 15th one. Yeah, uh, we couldn't fit all of them in the video because it's like 15 minutes long, but yeah, the 15th one. And also the last one for this video. Let's do it again. Yeah, so this is the 13th catacomb, but for us, it's the 9th one that we saw. And the number on top was 13, but yeah, for us, it's the 9th. Okay, and uh, yeah, if you're obese or really tall, I would not recommend this for you because yeah, you would break your back trying to squeeze in your, your weight or just uh, crouch down to uh, avoid hitting your head is so hard to breathe I feel my ears a little bit funny you would really need to be a small elf to get past here I just rubbed my back all over some stone trying to get in and uh, yeah it's super thin it's the end of today's video and uh, yeah before you go don't forget to subscribe hit that like button and see you next time and wait also, my recommendation for these catacombs is a 7 out of 10. Because, uh, yeah, if you're obese, tall, or uh, handicapped with a wheelchair, well, inaccessible. So, yeah, 7 out of 10.